Oh, welcome back. This is Ian here from TRS Team Real Salty with another ProNet video. This video here is provided by Lucas, who took this deck and got um, pretty high up there in a states. I'm assuming either top eight or further. I have not watched the interview yet, but go ahead and make sure you check out that link that I will be posting from Team Fish Knuckles with the interview on how he performed with the list. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and go over this list. It looks like a Night March list. I don't want to go any further than that. Let's see what we can do. We have four Joltix, one Jirachi EX, four Lampants, three Mew EXs, one Mr. Mime, four Punkaboos, one Empoleon, four Acrobikes, four Battle Compressors, one Computer Search, one Escape Rope, four Ultra Balls, four VS Seekers, one very fancy looking Archies, one Lissandre, one very fancy looking Trump Card, Two ends, four junipers, four dimensional valleys, one hard charm that looks so hard, two muscle band, one silver bangle, four DCE, and three water energies. All right, that is the deck. Let us see if we can perform another pro play masterpiece and get ourselves a win on the pro net scoreboard. All right, let's get ourselves a game. All right, and we are jumping straight into a game. Uh, looks like we are playing. Curlia Blues. Let's go ahead and choose heads. Hopefully we get the heads. And no, that's a Tails. We will have to go second, probably. Yep. So we are going second. And we get two Joltix and a Punkaboo. So, um, Force of Habit tells me to play the um, Joltik, um, but I won't. Uh, <laughs> let's do the Punkaboo, I guess. Go ahead and start off with a Punkaboo. Put a Joltik on the bench. And... We wait and see. So we see a Phoebus. And with a life do. So that is fun. They play an acrobike. And they also have a very cool water theme sleeves. I know I said that weird. They have very cool water sleeves. Um, I don't know if that's any better. <laughs> so what is this thing? A clam pearl. And we get an N. So let's see what we get N to. Hopefully something just as good as that other hand that we had. We get a Dimensional Valley, a Lampant, a Punkaboo, and another Joltik. So, nothing great. Uh, we don't get a Draw Supporter. Hopefully we will get something here eventually. Alright, so we see Electric, or Electrike. Not sure how you pronounce that. We get an Escape Rope. And um, nothing really much else. So let's go ahead and... Hmm, we can Ram, I assume. Let's get the... Lampant and the Punkaboo out. Let's get ourselves a Mew. Bench the Mew. Let's see, is anything weak? No. Um, Dimensional Valley. Oh, that still doesn't let us play anything. Uh, each Psychic. Oh, it's just a colorless. Okay. Well, I don't play Night March, obviously. Let's go ahead and just retreat. I mean, uh, end turn. I don't know what else to do. Uh, hopefully we'll get an energy this next turn or some sort of draw supporter. We can play that escape rope, get rid of that life do Phoebus, and hope for the best. So, uh, they are playing Battle Compressor. Get rid of two, three water energy. And sort of just wait it out. Get the Melodic. I assume... The whole point of that is to kill it off. Uh, Life Dew prevents me from getting a prize. And they get to charge up a Pokemon on the bench. So I played the Dimensional Valley a little too early. I thought for some reason that it lets you play uh, Psychic Attacks with one less Psychic Attack. But it's just a colorless attack less. So that did not work for Punkaboo. We could not ram. <laughs> So we just have to wait it out here and see what happens next. Alright, so Melodic does take that knockout to put, I'm assuming, the water energy on the Electric or Electric. Not sure again which one that is. And we see a water energy on the Clamp Roll. Get the Dive Ball, I'm assuming, for whatever that thing evolves to. The Hunt Tail. This attack does 20 damage more for something, something, something. Let's see. Times the amount of energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Alright, so that's 20, 40, 60, 80. That's 80! Alright, that sucks. <laughs> Let's get the 
Mew up here, and hopefully we can get something. We get an acro bike. Um, none of that helps us. Absolutely none of it helps us. <sighs> okay, muscle band. Um, another Jill tick. We'll put the muscle band on the Mew. Let's go ahead and I guess do that. <laughs> And uh, we just got to end the turn. We'll save the Lissandre for something else. Guys, this does not look good. We can't make pro plays if we don't get supporters that draw us into those pro plays. Unfortunately, my Night March days are numbered here. It looks like we could possibly see another loss on the pro net scoreboard. And that is a no. Please, no. <laughs> Ugh. VS Seeker for I don't know whatever they have in here. Let's see. I'm assuming they're going to do another Juniper. Or I wish I had a Juniper. <laughs> and there goes all the VS Seekers, Colrus, and a bunch of other things. So, her, Acro Bike. Man, they are getting the starts I wish I had. Let's see what I have in my discard. Nothing but some Night Marchers. Oh, if I can only do Night March. Okay, there goes another clamp pearl, a dive ball for I'm assuming another what whatever hunt tail, or does this thing evolve into something else? Probably not. A melodic, and will we get another disc? Uh, not a discard, another knockout force. Nope. Or maybe maybe they'll evolve and then knock themselves out. Hopefully they knock themselves out and give me a good supporter because I have nothing. But they know better. Alright. We gotta put up the Mew because we don't want the Joltik to die. Ugh. We get a Dimensional Valley. Nothing else. Um. I can't do much else. Uh. Let's see here. They just need one energy to do all that damage. Um. Let's go ahead and do it. Put up the Clam Pearl. And turn, and we may see defeat. Very, very scary. All right, another juniper. Play the end, please. Get man, they play a lot of VS seekers. I feel like I've seen tons. I guess that was four, but it feels so much more. VS seeker, VS seeker. VS Seeker, VS Seeker. So they just got rid of their four VS Seekers, but it does not matter because they've got the Hunt Tail, and that's going to be doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. They just need one more energy, and it is game for, uh, well, I guess not game, but essentially game. So they're going to take, and I get a prize! Come on, Juniper! Ugh! Lampant, you fool! I did not want you! <laughs> you should be in the discard! No one likes you, Lampant. That's why they discard you right away. <sighs> so they are probably going to get another prize here. That is two prizes, and we are stuck with a Joltik doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is where the tables turn. Oh, <laughs> darn you, Mew. Be a supporter next time. I'll bench the Mew. Maybe they'll Lissandre the Mew and finish me off quickly. Hopefully. That's all I can hope for. They see another Huntail, and Huntail is destroying me. Electric, Electric is getting charged up for a bunch of who knows what. I don't know what that Pokemon does. 200 damage goes to the Joltik. They are just teasing me now. Mew, you need to do something. You're superior. Okay. More dumb Night Marchers. Let's go ahead and just get the Lampent, because I hate you, Joltik. <laughs> Now I like Lampent because because they're pretty to look at, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and take the feet. We are done. Got one prize, thankfully, because they felt pity on us and decided to knock themselves out. Another DCE goes on the Electrike and 240 damage, and that is a knockout. Very convincingly on our side, unconvincingly on our side. Obviously, we don't know how to night march our way to victory. The pro plays were not performed today, and that means, unfortunately, get that scoreboard up here. Yes, another loss will go on the scoreboard. <sighs> that was kind of weird. <laughs> but anyway, that was a very 
unsatisfactory loss noise compromisable to the loss we just got here. Ugh, we did nothing this turn other than watch ourselves die. Obviously, we did not perform the way Lucas intended this deck to perform. We'll have to watch that interview by Team Fish Knuckles. Go ahead and click that link provided in the description. Until next time, this is Ian here from TRS Team Real Salty, who unfortunately is very real salty due to this loss. That is another loss. Hopefully we can turn this around, get ourselves another win, and provide you with more pro plays. Until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.